The fishing is just not hot today. What the heck? Well, we're not leaving empty handed. Woohoo! Yeah! That's a goodie. Uh -huh. Well, check that fatty out. Hot digging a dog. We are loaded up. Let's ride. We have arrived back at the lake. Well, hot diggity dog guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Wow. You on a seesaw again, huh? You guys are looking mighty fine today. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, we are back at this creek. Um, or pond, lake, whatever. Uh, it was called Pony Creek. We have never catfished this freaking pond. It is a beautiful day. We got time to kill and blood to be spilled. We got our good old triple S channel catfish bait made here in Iowa. You could probably freeze the screen and look at that. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to do that. It's going to be a good old time. Sit back, relax. Enjoy this beautiful day and see if we can slay. Yeah! Well, got some of these bad boys. I actually found these out fishing. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We'll stake our claim right in here. There's a lot of kayaks out today. Rawr. I rigged up this pole with uh, my uh, bow fishing string. I took it off there. So we got 300 pound string on <laughs> here. Why, I don't know. Because I had 50 on this one. But I've had them get, just snap it off. I've even casted with it and some snapped off. Why? Not sure. Just my luck, I guess. Alright. Get the sponge wet a little bit. There you go. Chip, chip, trio. Now we need a stick for the bait. Because this stuff is stinky. Sticky and stinky. Oh, broke it. Come on, that's also childproof. Oh yeah, look at that dirty dog. Put that on your bread and spread. Get her all up in there. Oh, she's kind of stiff. A little stiff. Yep, I'm using a pen. Stick that all up on there. Let it get all goobery gobbery. How's that looking? Yep, I'd eat it. Turd on a stick. Alright. First cast. Maybe 30, 30 yards. 30, 40 yards, something like that. We're just going to put a bell on her. Hopefully she goes dang a lang a lang. Got her drag set. So if it does take off, it's not gonna rip it out of there. Well, I totally spaced my stringer. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So we're gonna make one out of some tent guy line cords. Gotta get crafty. Whatever. Make do with what you got. What is that, like six feet? If that, oh, there's a knot. Whatever. We'll make it work. Hopefully. Couldn't ask for a better freaking day. It's about 73 degrees right now. No wind. Well, slight breeze. It's gorgeous. Something of the sorts. Let me break that down. There we go. And we'll just make a little groove around this guy just to extra holder in there. Well, 
this like that, we got a stringer. Cool beans. Pole number two. Engaged. We already hit the bottom. Peachy. Fill it up a little bit. Yeah, there's slack. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, a little crusty, but we got her in there. That <laughs> drag set. Whoa. I feel like this thing's getting hit already. You kidding me? Watch this. I could have swore. I think it was just getting bites. Put that on there for shenanigan seasoning reasonings. See what happens. I swear that thing was just getting bites as well already. As soon as it hit the water. Okie dokie. Have to wait and see. Alright, we're gonna tinker around with this bad boy where that other bit bait sits. Comes a bunch of boats and kayaking. I'll take a spill. At least we ain't got our phone in the pocket. That won't be good. Oh, I don't know what the heck that was. Ah, uh, moss. I can see it. Dance it all over the place. Dancing in the moonlight. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. It is a rather chillier day, so I wonder if they're going to be deeper. We'll switch it up and try some bass stuff here in a little bit. Well, we switched it up. We're going Texas riggy style. I'm going to go crawl, daddy. Should have brought the freaking kayak. Sure, we could have been a little more versatile, but whatever. If we don't get no bites here, we'll move on down yonder. Well, not even a freaking bite. I think we got a bite on the catfish pole when I first tossed it in, but that's about it. We might have to relocate down yonder. Well, we are gonna move down yonder. That stink bitch staying on there. We just ain't getting any bites. Son of a biscuit eater. Give her the old fresh dipper, Rooney. Put some more pudding on there. Some good and pudding. The heat's getting to it. She's getting real slimy. Oh, come on. Almost flung it all over me. New spot, we shall see, well, same pond, different spot of it. Oh, yep, here's that. Not very deep. A little windier down here, but we'll see what happens. All right, pole number two. Let's go poopy poo. Hey, we got all that bait to stay on there. Cool beans. Alright. Let's see what we can make happen. I don't like the way this one's leaning. We'll make it lean backwards. Can't get it to go all the way in because there's rocks. So, we might lose that pole. If we ain't fast enough, we'll see what happens. Alright, we're going to go ahead and give Uncle Fred's good old collapsible pole the old what for. See what we can make happen. Possibly, just possibly snag one. A little something, something. Uh, 
I put the wrong line on this. I thought I was putting 10 pounds on here. Ended up putting 50 on it. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, there's a fish chasing it. There was a fish just chasing it. Good signs. So it doesn't cast very far. Maybe the line's too heavy for it. Yep, she don't like it. She don't like the line. We'll throw the old Texas riggy a couple times down here and then we'll switch that up. Switch this up, switch that up, switch it up. Yep, yep. <laughs> Whatever that means. Wait. If we don't catch a fish here, then we'll go on down to the river. Closer to evening. See what we can make happen down there. Come on, gobble it. Where's the gobbler? Which one of you gonna be the gobbler? Oh, we got into some muck. Yep, no gobbler. Son of a biscuit eater, Peter. Pumpkin. Skeet air. They just say skeet on a pumpkin. <laughs> It's up to you, man. It's your life. Do what you want. The fishing is just not hot today. What the heck? Whoo! Well, we're not leaving empty-handed. Oh, got us a nice little large mouth. Oh man, we barely got him on the, oh! He's about to flop off probably. Barely got him on the tongue. He's gonna, quit smacking me. Ah! Chill out, buddy. Ready to get the hook into the finger. There we go. Cool, yeehaw. But unfortunately, he's under 15 inches, so we can't keep it. Off he goes. Whoa, look at that. This thing got hit pretty good. We're going to throw it again. Whatever. What I want to try to do, actually, if we snag a few bluegill, then uh, we're going to probably take that for bait down at the river. That'd be kind of cool. Try to catch a big old catfish. We ain't never done that, so maybe we better try to do that. Oh. Thing a mess. Well, never know till you go. Cool beans. Better than nothing. Whatever. Low and slow. Let's not fall, shall we? You fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's what we're talking about. Get some of that in your life. Get off. Oh, come on. I thought it'd fall off, but no, we just made a bigger mess. Good stuff. I don't know if you guys could see that right there, but there's a freaking bluegill. And he's like half alive, half dead. I'm going to try to cast out and snag him. That would be perfect for freaking bait right there. That way, since it's already dying... I might have to go get the net. I don't know if I'm going to be able to snag it with a single hook. Ooh, it's right there. If I can get him to drag in on this moss. Oh, I don't know if I can reach that. Um, We're going to have to do something because I'm going to snag that guy. That would be perfect for bait. Come on, get it caught in the moss. Yeah, there we go. Drag that whole thing over here. Don't want to lose them under the moss either. You know what? I'm going to run down and grab the net real quick. That's going to be perfect for some bait. You know what? Sometimes things present themselves to you just like that. The fishing wasn't any good. I hear splashing. And there's a dying fish right there. So it's not going to go to waste. We'll be able to use it down at the river. Cool beans. Well, the question is now, are we going to be able to get him out of that freaking moss? Kind of buried him under this moss right here. Let's 
It's like I'm working harder for this dead fish than... It's under there somewhere. Oh, there he is. I think I see a part of him. Do this without falling in, huh? That'd be grand. That moss is just like got a mind of its own. I think it's seriously like right, right here. Oh crap! I got the freaking line stuck. I don't know if I got him or not. Let's see. <sighs> yep, got him. Cool beans. Perfect. It's gonna be great bait. Good to see the flies are loving the car. What are you trying to say? My Honda stinks? Huh? Get out of here. It's my poop vehicle. My poo wagon. Get out of here. Go on, get now. Woohoo! Yeah! That's a goodie. Not too shabby. Hot diggity dog. This is a good pounder. Something like that. Pound and a half. Hot diggity dog. Oh gosh dang. Did it get me? Ah. Oh. Yeah, I need to quit messing around with that stuff. Let me clamp that thing. Hard as heck. And uh, don't let him shake. That's the problem. Otherwise, you're going to get caught in the finger. One, two, three, go. <clears throat> yeah, you got to snag that thing hard. Otherwise, you're going to hurt yourself more than anything like that or the fish. Look at cranes yelling at us across the lake. Cool beans. <laughs> Not too bad. Better than nothing. Yeah. All right, he's still under 15, so... Later, buddy. Woohoo! I always don't press play, like when I when I get those, because every time you freaking uh, stop to press play, every time I do it, I lose them. They get off. So, hey, we got it. Yeah. Oh, I almost made it over there. Big old fish. See that big old splash? He just jumped out there. Come on, don't start squeaking, Paul. I know a lot of you guys hate that noise. <laughs> Whatever. Man, that was a big old guy. Probably a good four pounder. I'm trying to stand on this thing. Without falling off. Come on, where you at, big dog? Something's got to eat it. Come on, I know you want to. Oh, we got a stick stuck to it. Peachy, get off there. Get off there and get out there. Catch us a big one. I'll buy you lunch. Come on now. I don't know why this pole started squeaking. You know, one thing I haven't tried is some poppers. I've never caught a fish on a popper. We caught some of our biggest bass we've ever caught on this. So that's why I'm throwing it. Bigger bait, bigger fish. Maybe we'll try a popper here in a little bit. Got a few more hours to kill. All right, we are gonna fling and wing all these baits <laughs> and see what we can make happen. Never caught anything on this, never caught anything on this, this, or that, or that. But I have on that and that, so. Yeah, let's do that. All right, little fishy. It's your time to shine. hey -ya! Oh, 
Get out of here, B. Get off me. Come on. Oh, we're going to try this dirty old popper. We found this thing floating on a pond a long time ago. I don't even think I've ever even used it since then, but never know till you throw, right? Right, you looking? Holy crap, that thing got some distance. Oh, yeah. Up there floating. Oh, yeah. I'm just seeing a pot or uh, biting on top, so maybe something will try to snag this. Good vibes, good energy. Manifest it, right? <laughs> Something wants to eat it. You know you do. Well, let's see what happens. I'm just waiting for Free Willy to come flying out of the water and snag that thing. That'd be great. <laughs> the epic. Slowly, slowly dragging it. Not popping it at all. Ooh, looks like someone's chasing it. Some bubbles came up behind it. I don't know what it was. Oh, what the heck, fish just bit my bit the line itself. <laughs> well, it's your time to shine. You my boy, Blue. Look at that crane. Magical bird. The modern day pterodactyl. hi yeah. All right. Mm, here we go. We're under knee one. We're under sieged. Oh, he turned around. Let's see what happens. Once again, I didn't think. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't think this little guy would get nailed by it or go after it, but I guess that's what happens. Yeehaw. Oh, but, oh don't stop doing it. You're tearing up your gills, man. It's all in your gears. You're about to rip your lip off. It's not cool. Well, first time for everything. He's about as big as the freaking bait. <laughs> cool beans. All right, little guy, you're up. Not the country. You're up. Swing, better, better. Let's see what happens. I know what the problem is. Like when me trying to film it, I always catch him like right next to the bank, and can't press the button in time just hurry up and get them on shore but if we snag one out there fairly decent I'll be able to press the play button hopefully what are you doing puppies all right don't go eat my stink bait oh last one we're gonna try to throw this frog see what may happen I'm gonna probably get out of here been out here for almost six hours <laughs> well I don't have a sack for old mr. bluegill here so just throw it right on the floor let it do that and get ready to beat feet all right guys well nothing too crazy but hey I mean we spent seven hours and we got three fish <laughs> that ain't much but all right, we'll take the bluegill. Well, we got gifted a fish and we caught three, if that that helps. Um, we gotta go back to town. Uh, I gotta stop at my house, grab some lights, and uh, we'll hit the river, and hopefully we can make something happen. Hold on to your britches. Special guest appearance. Hot diggity dog. We have made it down to the river with a little bit of daylight to spare. There's people to our left, to our right, and everywhere. Our town kind of sucks because there's only like three river access points and they get smothered and anywhere in between that there's homeless camps and all that good stuff but besides that yeah got our bluegill still in our net he kind of stiffened up a little bit chop him up and we'll throw him on one pole and then the other one we'll fish uh stink bait on so wish us luck get out of there big boy there we go half and half be a good little chunk of bait at least he didn't go to waste he was already dying kind of lucky that we found him anyway it was meant to be all right here we go a little bit of cut bait
Well, I had to take a phone call. Good thing Gal Pal freaking was nearby. That's a good channel right there. Cool beans. <laughs> That's a good old Pansky. For sure. Hot diggity dog. Awesome. Oh, hot diggity dog. We're only here like 15 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. And bling. Cool beans. I don't know if you guys can see there's a beaver right there sitting there snacking away. Still kind of blurry, but this GoPro doesn't have very much zoom. Still just sitting there snacking on some lettuce. Alright, that line's bouncing up and around, going all sorts of places. I think there's a little guy on there. Maybe? Maybe not. No, maybe not. Son of a biscuit eater. Thing sure was dancing. Nope. I think it was just little ones messing with it. and get no action so we're gonna smash it well not live bait but the cut bait we're gonna smother it with this and then give it another what for maybe maybe it'll work oh my stick make it a giant ball of nonsense well all right and fling it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Marvelous. Marvelous and beautiful. Don't know if this is going to be a good or bad. We're going to try to move this thing straight on outward. Yep, 4th of July is getting close. Everybody's got the boom, boom, bangy, bangy, rang a dang Yo. Well, guys, the fishing is not hot. So, it is getting super late. Been almost fishing for freaking almost 12 hours straight. <laughs> oh, woo. And you guys are probably going to hate me, but I think I'm going to let that one go just because that's only one. It'd be nice to have a little more than that. So we could do it like a nice little fish fry, but whatever. It is what it is. We're not starving, so I guess we'll make do. Well, it is certainly your lucky day, fishy. <laughs> Saying bye bye. Ah. There you go, buddy. You're lucky. Always next time. <laughs> well, guys. You win some, you lose some, but not too shabby. It was a good productive day. I mean, we only caught four fish in 12 hours, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, you live and you learn. I can't see with this light. We got to get back to reality. Um, some people go to work in the morning, so. That being said, thanks for coming along for the goofy shenanigan, guys. We had fun, good outdoorsy day. But yeah, make every day great exploring Earth. We'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm sorry, this light is just too bright. So good night.